Um, for me, it was the first time visiting a venue like this, so yeah, it was cool walking around and like seeing live commentary. Yeah, I liked, um, I took a picture of Judith, so... Judith Polgar. <laughs> Definitely, the venue was super cool. I liked it, the organization, everything was nice. I, I find it a bit weird in the beginning of the photographers near the players where they were already making like moves until the eighth move, but uh, the rest uh, it was cool. I, like it. I have not seen the first game here, but yeah, all three games and I'm still going to be here for, for the next five games. Uh, it was a drawish from the beginning, I think. I was very surprised uh, seeing the English Open at Carlson. Well, uh, today's place was a little bit uh, kind of drawish from the beginning, but uh, it was exciting for me to see the, the game. Uh, I think it was a wonderful game. All, all, all four games were very entertaining. So. I felt confident for Carlson today. And he looked confident. But clearly, I didn't know all. <laughs> well, I was a little bit disappointed because uh, this day I, I thought, well, um, we will see a victory, maybe uh, by, by Carlson. But, but anyway, it was thrilling for me. It was wonderful. I'm a fan of Caruana, but I think Carlsen has a little bit of an edge. I'm slightly rooting for Fabiano. I would give Caruana like 40% chance of winning it. I think in the end Carlsen will. I think there's too much pressure on Caruana. Um, he's, he, Carlsen has nothing to prove. He's the champion. Um, Caruana has to prove he's better. It's very close. Very close. Maybe it's very close. It's very close. I don't know because it's a rest day and Carlsen uh, gonna prepare very very well but I think that uh, Caruana will win with black one day one game he will win with black and I think that is because I'm a chess player as well but a hobby chess player but over a lot of years uh, he has more creativity that is for me the, the point I think that makes it at, uh, at least and at last the difference, creativity.